Red versus blue. Man, yet again, going back to Donut and Wash, their their dichotomy, the like the the way they work with each other is just so good. This bromance is growing. Yeah. Is Wash shooting donut ever not going to be funny. I don't know. I mean, it's I, like the fucking best every time. We need to count. I know I know he got shot three times in the second ep- first or second episode. I want to know how many times he got shot this episode. I think it was only twice. Was it? I think so. Because he, he shot him once and said I like your dedication to keep time him. travel. That was yeah. the last time that he got shot. No, because Simmons walked away and then um, after they had already talked about him, like the real donut and wash went out. Simmons walked away and like Wash went to the room and just switched out his rifle, took a pistol, and shot yeah. him. I feel, uh, like, I feel like this isn't the end, and we should just keep a count. Oh at, yeah. At the at the end of the season, we should just go back and do a count of all the times that <gasps> Wash shot Donut. What if Donut has to shoot Wash to like fix the timeline? Oh fuck! Like what if what if they reach the Resin Blues and they're like, hey. Don't save Wash. We're gonna right. the timeline. They're like, we, we know, can't. we don't care. We're gonna save Washington. Right. And they're like, and then donut. shit. And then Donut has to. Donut has to take the shot. Right. Yeah. Donut is who actually shoots Washington. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I call it. <laughs> I'm calling it now. You're calling that I'm right. <laughs> don't call my calls. I'm calling it. That's a bullshit tactic, Aaron. <laughs> I, nope. I called it here first today, gang. Donut's gonna have to shoot Wash. Aaron said it first. Well, no one said Fuck it. him to death. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> no one set me up and I laid out the premise, then Aaron called it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I called it. I 100% called it. Yeah. It, it, do you disagree? Did I not just call it? No. <laughs> you're the only, you're the least involved person. <laughs> I'm not involved in this at all. Yeah. The least involved person who gives a shit about it. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> I just called. Nah, you're right though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm, man, donut. donut yelling at Wash. Yeah. That was good. He's apparently incapable of saying anything that isn't somewhat a. Uh, it, it's it's either he's saying something that is completely toe biased and can be interpreted as being the right. gayest thing that's ever been said. Or he's giving a really emotional like appeal to what's happening. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he, he helped Wash understand what Carolina was trying to do to fix the mm-hmm. problems right. that she had made. Yeah. Like, Donut has some emotional intelligence, for sure. Yeah. You keep tapping my foot on accident. I didn't realize that was your foot. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not sorry to you. I'm sorry <laughs> to you. You can suck me. That was my, that was my fault. <laughs> Anyway, Donut's emotional intelligence. There's an Amber Alert, apparently. Yeah, he's right here. (laughs) 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 Say goodbye to your girlfriend. (laughs) I'm not a child, bro. We'd have to, there's so many paradoxes would have to exist. (laughs) Sorry. In order for that timeline to play out, (laughs) Aaron. Funeral (laughs) (laughs) cannon! <laughs> well, in the Carolina thing, whenever Donut said, "This is the most terrifying I've ever heard your voice," second most, first most being like right now. Man, <laughs> how could Wash or Donut not hear hear Epsilon's voice? Yeah, well, right. They did. That but they like, too. talked about it later. They no, they didn't talk about his voice. They said, they, they said that they suspected one of them that was in there was. No, he, he said, said, he said Epsilon. Epsilon. Did they say to say Epsilon? Yeah. Yeah. Like. How could you not just straight up call it out? Like, hey. I mean, maybe there's. They, they could have used him to help them, help the Reds and Blues understand that they were caught, caught in a time loop even easier. Motherfucker's not smart. They, he's just Gankin's, mischief. Gankin's yeah. smart. He's, he's mischief. He's not smart. He's been, he's existed for a while. Go back and watch the first episode. He's not smart. He barely made it, he barely made his way out of convincing Tucker that he knew Caboose's name. Right, but he—he's existed for millennia. His first way of figuring out or convincing Locus—I'm surprised. He, I don't think he convinced Locus. 
I think Locust knows that he's stuck in a time loop. The, because the, only, of the, the only, knives comment. The only thing that's important is that he just does have, make something different happen. Yeah, well, yeah, like, that's what's important. But these people are supposed to not figure out that they're stuck in a time loop. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say like Locust did gonna... walk away, and Santa was laughing maniacally like that, and said, "Oh, I love my job." Locust was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah." You like, see Locust made... go. You stop. You see Locust stop and go. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether or not he believes him. No, it does it's, matter. Because... No, because the timeline is altered based on what he said to him, yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah. But okay, cracks still made. Crack's still made. Right. You're right Which there. is all Gankins is trying to do. Yes. So he's being... But he's also not supposed to let the other, the Reds and Blues, Locus, anybody else that's stuck in this time loop, know that that's happening. Because Lo- they Locus hasn't all met be Santa cr- before, has he? Lo- yeah, Locus. Yeah. Obviously he met Santa. That was a part of the time loop. No, no, no. I mean, before Be- then. Yeah. Before then, yeah. No. no. He said, don't you want to know what... Um, right, that, but that's that the same is- encounter. Right. right. Felix it's is just, afraid of. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a different right. Right. version of that same So encounter. if, if, well, if Gankin kind of like shows up as well. Santa, and he just always is yeah, Santa, but that's what he did with all the timelines, Locus though. was already, you saw Locus, like, look he, back. He really did. He looked back, and I'm... Like, there was emphasis on it. There was yeah. super emphasis I'm on saying it. it's irrelevant, because... It's not irrelevant. No, uh, you're not understanding what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay. Yes, I am. I get what you're saying. You're saying he's not being convincing when he's acting as these people, and you're thinking that's an example of that's him being not, dumb. Oh, no, no, that's not the entire thing I'm trying to explain. What are you saying, though? Okay, all right. The reds and blues don't need to know that they're stuck in a paradox. Right. Gankins is making it very easy for them to figure out that he's in, that they're in a paradox because if he's he shows not up, smart about what he's doing. If I he shows up at the right time, smart. also, what is the first thing they're going to assume? They're not going to be like, hmm, church doesn't sound right. I must be caught in an infinite but, time loop. But you've seen, you've seen every other thing that's happened with them, like any other, whenever whenever Donut alone tried to convince them about it. Whenever he first mentioned the Everwind in episode two, they were like, uh, uh, Griff was the first person to be like, you know, like, I don't understand it, but it kind of sounds right. Like, started to get into it, but then of course Sarge just shut up. And plus, like, they're on rarely kind of friendly terms with Locus at this point. They're not killing each other on sight, so if, like, Locus knows something's up, runs into them, he may be able to figure something out. Right, but he's not gonna just assume immediately because somebody's acting funny that they're caught in a time loop. Right. I'm not even that, saying yeah. that. I'm saying, like, no. him mentioning something, be like, hmm, this seems a little off, that they'd be like, you know what, that's right, maybe we should look into it. I'm saying, like, they could use Genkin's ability to not be, or, or I guess lack of ability to be intelligent in what he's doing, to their advantage to show them that they're stuck in a time loop. He's making it easier for them to make that point proven. But but he's not. If he's if he shows up in the right time in the timeline and acts as church throughout all of the time they're interacting right, with been, AI, he been, is the voice of church to them. Right, he's been church this whole time. Right. Mm-hmm. And if he shows up in any instance where somebody is an AI... I feel like he, he's had to have ended up as more than just church in some of the different time loops that he's fucked over. No, he's he's existing. He oh, can, the only time we've seen him is his church. But you see, there's way more cracks. No, than no, no. But we're there. saying that in each of these divergent timelines, he is existing as all of the relevant AIs in the entirety of those fractured timelines. Right. He can only be an AI, right? So right. he can only be church, right? Whatever. Or, or, that's or, or, or Santa. So or, they need to. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's nuts. And that's ooh, nuts. And this gets to the part that I'm really excited for is next week's episode. Because we're getting to explore Out of Mind and Recovery One and wa- and all of Washington. Uh, I forgot yeah. about the end of that. Oh yeah, yeah seeing him at uh fucking I forgot the name of that map. I I, I know it's one of my favorites too because it's a my, DLC. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's my fav probably one of my favorite parts of. Is of anyone still had AI implants? Would Jenkins be able to mess with that? Probably. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. If there was a, I mean, he would be able to jump into Delta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be weird to see. Now I think we're gonna see. But I think what you're saying is like, could he could he jump into Wash or Carolina or any of the Reds and Blues mm-hmm. through their AI implants because mm-hmm. he is just an AI. And he wouldn't be able to do Caboose oh. because he has the helmet. Right. Is he able to exist as an AI or does he have to occupy an AI that's already functioning? I think it's an occup- I think it's occupy an AI that's already functioning. Because I don't it think it's just think an empty it, slot. I was gonna say if it wasn't that um. The crazy guy who kept going all the AIs. What's his name? Meta. Yeah, if not, he could just find Meta and bring Meta back. Oh shit, Gankin's running the Meta. Ooh, that would be stupid. 
Dude, there's a timeline probably where the fucking meta wasn't beaten. Oh, and there's most definitely a time one, uh, right. timeline where the meta wasn't beaten. Right, that's so, what I'm saying. We man, can see that. Explode. RVB is starting to take on the same roots as fucking DC. Uh, we've got a we've got a crisis in Infinite Earths going yeah. on right now. We really do. Like it's kind of nuts, and I, I feel like maybe at the end of this we're gonna start back at the roots. Not Halo One roots is right. not what I mean. Yeah, and then Superman will have less powers. Then suck, and then everybody start up a new Goku versus Superman argument. I, I do think we'll see a, re a return to some kind of status quo and probably as much of a of a reset as you can get, but I imagine it'll be something more along the lines of season eleven. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. Start just to be able to start anew mm -hmm. and like give them a new story to go off of. Right, right. Because this is heavy. This is heavy. This is actually super heavy. What's going on? And they've done a good job at funeral cannon. I'm sorry. Yeah. They've done a great job at like. Uh, Taking all these different things that they put together, these two different stories yeah. that they made, two completely different stories of the blues and reds, and then uh, the AIs or the gods. Right. And like, it's like now we're not invested in the timeline based on where we think things are going. We're invested in the timeline because we want the things that we are already attached to to be preserved. Yeah. 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 No, that's super right. I love that. Yeah. I love that thought process of it. I really do. They ever win. <laughs> <laughs> I do ever so hate um, being teased by the presence of church week to week. And not and hearing just Bernie, Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're doing that shit on purpose. Oh, they're 100% doing that shit on purpose. Right. Lopez should be the next fucking person on the, on the team with Washington Donut. Who? Lopez. Oh, I thought you said Lopez. I think that's why it keeps getting shot. Whenever they have Man. to go back to the... <laughs> Whenever... Uh, it was one of the last times... Uh, it was right before they walked off together. Fucking... Uh, Lopez is dead. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like... You see... Like, uh, in this last episode, you see Wash point his gun at Donut and they go... And then shoot Lopez. <laughs> and just like... All right, no, that's cool. And then Donut and fucking Wash walk off together. Simmons is like... Like, why did you just shot Lopez? And you just hear Wash go, Simmons! <laughs> he's like, mm, mm, mm. He's a robot. We know he's a robot. <laughs> <coughs> no, I love this season. This season has the BGC feel to it. The Blood Gulch Chronicles, like, mm -hmm. super feel to it. All the seasons, all these last three seasons have to a point with me. But this one has stuck out the most in having that same, like, nostalgic feel to me and the dialogue and the way everybody's moving and acting with each other. It feels more right. Yeah. 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 Super. I love it. I love it. And it's nothing like a BGC season. Yeah. At all. At all. But it has the exact same kind of feel as to what's going on with everything. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It Like, it, it's perfect. I love in episode two whenever they're talking about, uh, like, oh, we went back in time. Like, no, we didn't actually go back in time, but I'm actually going back in time now. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that's fake, but this is real. <laughs> Turns out they're still in BGC. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how it's all going to end out. Right. <laughs> they never left. This is all Donut's mad elaborate plan because he's actually the director. The fucking ex explosion from uh, from the Pelican knocked everybody out. This has all just been a dream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Oh, do not. Oh, don't do it. Don't God. visit or Vaz this. That'd be, the, that'd be the fucking least satisfying. <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be nuts. It's. You'd still watch it, it though. I would it's, still it's, watch it. I would go straight day season, uh, was it 17? Yeah. 17 is or no, 18. Mm, yeah, 18 is the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And I'd love the shit out of it. Wouldn't matter. Mm. They know it. You're just going to fucking gobble it up like mm, red, mm, blue. <sighs> it's funny the things you the things you lose. Um, because I'm sure you remember uh, when Red vs. Blue Season 5, the last season of Blood Gulch came out, the finale had like three or four different different versions had of there were four endings to yeah, it. Yeah, and like depending on what server you were on and everything, you got a different a different ending. Wow. The download I got of it off of LimeWire back then mm -hmm. 
had the ending was the true ending and then every other and then it would fade to black and then it would start up the episode again and then it would go with the next ending and the next ending I had every single ending the first time I watched it I can't remember which one I saw I saw the first time but it was this really really crazy moment because everyone was like freaking out like wait what are you what are you talking about like that's not the episode that I just watched <laughs> and like the episode ending out where it's the covenant right like, uh, like the, it's the covenant redoing the the first episode of just like right. a, you ever wonder why you're here but it's that's the one that I have Larg 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 that's the one that I saw Larg that's Larg 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 I love it <laughs> that's the only one that I saw until like three months later whenever I watched the, the DVD for the first yeah. time. The first one I ever saw was uh, everybody dying at yeah. the end of everything. Mm-hmm. And, and like every single person that died said son of a bitch at the end of it. The caboose yeah. was the last one to be like son of a bitch as uh, like either a, uh, a the pelican or what's that other thing that doesn't, it levitates, it doesn't fly. Mongoose. No. What? Wait. No. The go- Alien uh, mongoose. Yeah. The, yeah. Ghost. Uh, yeah. The ghost. Yeah. The ghost. One of those two things fell on top of him at the end of it all. That's the same one. Oh, never mind. No. All of them have flowers getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was that one. It's been so yeah. fucking long since I watched that for the first time. I downloaded it off LimeWire too, and the way it, my file ended was somebody ejaculating on a lady's face, and I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> this is my versus push." <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think I went through like three different downloads of season five before i actually got season five but before we get into porn uh it would be interesting for the way you phrase that for for season 17 to please don't take your jacket off it would be oh things are getting hot in here let me go ahead and it would be fun to end that same way but i don't think you you couldn't even anymore with the infrastructure of of the internet and everything yeah like the logistics of having Different endings for for Red versus Blue, but yeah. the only the only real ending is, uh, the only the yeah, the true ending is uh, them seeing the ship explode, and then one of them asking Church like Tucker. What, yeah Tucker asking Church like what what are we gonna do, and do he's being you, like yeah do what you want I'm done right, and then he goes and then it goes back and then it shows like uh I think it, yeah it's Caboose and uh, Church mm-hmm. up on top of Blue Base. It's like, you ever wonder why we're here? And then Church gives this giant spiel, and he goes, no, I, I'm just meaning, like, why are we here in the shade? When, or why are we here in the sun when we could be down there in the shade? And he goes, oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was, that was and that's, that's the true ending. Yeah, let's, right. let's go down in the shade. Also, probably, uh, and definitely of, of Alpha, I would say probably my favorite Church speech. That's his, that uh, that whole spiel is that really is really good. good. I don't remember it like I, just, I do the season eight I spiel, but I just realized Church is the Michael of fucking Harvey P. Like, is that an Office reference? No, it's a, what? No, it's an Arrested Development thing. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sorry. Screw you guys! I'm leaving. You're gonna have to fend for yourselves. <laughs> You think we'll actually see Church Church this season? I'm not holding my breath. Maybe. I'm also not holding my breath. I want it, but it's probably not going to happen. I mean, obviously, everybody (laughs) wants it. Everybody wants to see Church come back. I think. But, see, like, I want Church to come back, but at the same time, I'm just like, don't do it. Here's here's the thing. He's done. Church is done. For me, Church is definitely done. But, like, since we're playing with the timeline, it's like... This is the he, easiest way to do it. Right. Yeah. As long as he doesn't come back back, and, like, we don't, like, bring him back after the end of 13 when he's gone, but we just, like, see that character again. We've already done that in season 14 in Canon Bitch. We've gone back to places yeah, sure. where, ch- where Church has been mm. yeah. and had him as... So I think it's possible. I think we'll get at least a cameo. It's just, will we see... Will we we'll get Ginkins out of out of church? Because that's also a very important like story point right now, for or, or plot point because we got to get Ginkins away from Carolina. Right. Yeah. But mm. we'll see. And uh, next week we'll have the last episode of uh, Weird Place. Yep. Yeah, that'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm so uh, maybe 
Man, I don't know. They said four, but... This I definitely know. wasn't the finale. No. No, this is by no means the finale. I was saying, like, we might get more because oh. we haven't even gotten Jack in any yeah, of them. We haven't gotten Jack out of these. We haven't... <laughs> nah, I'm done. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for watching this stuff. Please like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Don't listen to stupid jokes like that. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> Have a great night. Or a great morning. If you're going to work, enjoy yourself. Don't, don't work too hard. There's no reason. Don't overwork yourself. If your manager's being a dick, just at any given point in time. It. At any given point in time, just stop what you're doing and masturbate. That's my advice for you. Hey, guess what? Don't listen to Nolan. Because that's not the right answer. Nolan, <laughs> Nolan, Nolan, <laughs> Nolan, <laughs> Nolan. You can't stop me, guys. There we go. End of the episode. How, how are the workers jack up on your desk? And that's the first word. <laughs>